guys, Exxon Noah here, back with another video for you guys today. We've got a little bit of a different camera setup to normal because today we are opening up the 2020 NRL trading cards, going through a whole box of them and then trying to create a little um, team out of that. And then I'm also going to be uh, trying to do a challenge this year and I'll get more into that into the end of the video. So stick around to see what that's all about. But every week I'll be doing a challenge regarding each round and each game of the NRL season. And this will be a weekly occurrence. I'm thinking of uploading this probably on a Thursdays probably um, for the first game of the week. And yeah, I've got a, like I said, a box here with a, a binder also. Really excited to get into this. And let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the packs. All right, so here we have the NRL Traders binder. As you can see, I'll get it in shot there. Nice uh, trading uh, binder. And also the box of NRL 2020 trading cards. Now, I do want to say I got this off um, Diggers. Um, he does a YouTube channel that unboxes as well so i'll leave a link to that down below to his channel and yeah so in the trading cards i might change this camera angle just to get a little bit more into shot all right so ignore the like the mess on the outsides but here we have the uh trading card um binder let's open this up to see what we have inside so as you can see there we've got a checklist with all the um, teams and players that you can get and just a couple of um, ideas of what you can get so commons platinum specials club heroes magic round authentic series signature four and two premiership predictor a representative star 2019 season to remember street art star tunes authentic series bronze a retirement and legend signature so with the premiership predictor out of all the teams the two teams that i probably really want to get is the raiders because my father goes to the raiders and um it'd be cool to see them win um i personally go for the titans i don't know if they will be able to win this year but you never know another team that i think has a really good shot this year is the eels so i get the eels um as a premiership predictor that would be pretty cool let's put this over and then the card inserts so that has the representative stars you can get the jill roos and new south wales blues queensland maroons indigenous all stars maori all stars the four and twos for the teams seasons to remember club heroes magic round magic round uh parallel album card the authentic signatures the premiership predictors legends league uh league ladders Street Art Star 2s and Retirements. So the two legends you can get is Cliff Lyons and Petro Sevenaceva. So that is a pretty cool to see. And it does say here the album card. So let's see what we got here as the album card. And we got uh, Roger Tuvasashek Magic Round Brisbane. So let's get that one out of the sleeve there to show you guys. Roger Tuvashashek. On the back here, it has his stats for the Magic Round and MRP 15 of 16. Magic Round promo, I'm assuming that is. Um, I'm not really sure what that is. Oh, of the, um, yeah, Magic Round Parallel, sorry, 15 of 16. That's a pretty cool card to get. Not upset with that at all. A nice fullback there to um, potentially use in my team when i do that so let's put that one back in the sleeve it came in in the uh, spot put that there i don't think there's anything else in here and towards the back there you have your um just a little insert so that was pretty cool but now let's get into the cooler part which is indeed the cards themselves so let's um Bring the camera back down and get into it. All right, so as I said, the trading cards booster box here, the recommended retail price AUD is $3.99 a pack or $4.99 for New Zealand. So what I'm thinking of doing after this um, pack opening is uh, buying 
three packs a wait this opens uh three packs a week and then creating a team out of it and then um with that team um using it in my challenge like i said i'll go through that at the end of the video so stick around for that and um maybe help uh, spread awareness along with me but throw the rubbish there to the side and pop this open it's got a little seal on it scissors here pop this open here and put that back over there open this one up i don't want to bump it but there we go and here we have the 2020 trading cards like i said i am a titans a fan um go for new south wales blues as well and then the kangaroos for the representatives and with the nrl season starting tomorrow when this video comes up pretty exciting great time for this to go live so i got my packs in here i'm going to keep the packs in there and just unbox them in front of you here so let's grab this first one now how many there's 10 cards per pack and how many um not sure how many um packs there are in here but probably gonna be a big long one so uh grab a seat sit back relax and enjoy so from what i've seen also it does tell you the inserts on here so um the platinum parallel is one per pack the rep stars is one per three pack season to remember one per six pack premiership predictor is one per six boxes the magic round is one per nine packs the star two is one per 18 pack street art one per 18 pack the 2019 club heroes is one per 36 packs retirements one per 72 packs NRL Authentic Bronze is 1 per 108 packs. The 4 and 2 is 1 per 432 packs. The Legend Signatures is 208 per player. And there's two of them. And the NRL Authentic Signatures is 100 per player. And there's 16 of those. So hopefully we can get some of those rarer ones like the Premiership Predictor. Um, there's 1 per 6 boxes. And some of the like four and twos legend signatures or NRL authentic signatures will be pretty damn cool. But let's just get into it here. So, um, from what I've also seen, I was gonna say was it looks like the um, good cars are towards the middle of the pack. So what I was thinking of doing was kind of moving front four but i'm not really sure how to do it so we've got joey manu we've got jake travoyevic tangai jr a panthers club checklist a street art which is felice kafusi from the melbourne which is very cool i put that one up here and then we got mike Sivo as the uh i believe the platinum parallel um so we've got the Silver on the sides there. Then we got uh, Lucino Lu, uh, Leilua, Isaiah Papali, Marcus Zivo as the normal. So we got the normal and the platinum. So we have, and then our Kalen Ponga as well. I'll show you the difference between the platinum parallel and the normal card. As you can see there, very cool. And I think it also says, yeah, platinum series on the back there, along with all the um, information. So let's put the uh, regular cards, I guess you can call them, with the checklist over here. The regular cards here, the special ones, let's just put them that here. Flatten this out, move the rubbish to the side, and let's keep cracking on. So to start off with, I reckon that's pretty cool. The, like I said, the street arts, what are they? One per 18 packs. That is... A good way to start off here. Let's try to open like this so we don't know what the back card is. Jimmy Tarmow. We got Alexander Brimson. Let's go, V Boy. Hopefully he's fit and ready for round one. The West Tigers checklist. 
We got Bronson Cherry. We got a Magic Round Brisbane Josh Morris. Let's go. What a good player he is and has been for his, his career, especially for New South Wales Blues. And then we got Chad Townsend as our platinum parallel. We got Peter Hiku, Dan Gay Guy, Josh Adokar. Let's go. Another good, uh, good, uh, good New South Wales Blues wingers. And then a Raiders checklist. Cracking on to the next one here. Let me guys let me know what you guys have um, predicted for the first round. Give me your um, tips for the first round. Who you think will be good um, like premiership contenders this year? Obviously, as as well with the um, premiership predictors. Obviously, getting someone like the Storm or the Roosters would be great to get as well, um, just because they're you know really good sides that have been for the last few years. So obviously, you can't um, be upset with that. We got Josh Mansour. We got Angus Crichton, who's going in the centres um, for the first round, which will be interesting. Uh, Thomas McKayley. We got Jason Tamalolo, and we got another street art here, which is Joe Offenengawi from the Brisbane Broncos. Very nice indeed. I like the uh, texture on this card. The um, Felice doesn't have it, but this one has like a little bit of a texture to it. It also has a little bit of shine to it as well. Very cool. We got Corey Thompson as our reverse, uh, uh, reverse our platinum parallel. Jack Whiten, he is going to be a great player if he can keep his head in the game. Uh, Connor Watson, Clint Gutherson, and Nick Meany. It'll be very interesting, interesting to see how the Bulldogs go this year. Obviously, they had a pretty um, good end to the season last year. Um, hopefully they can be a little bit more competitive throughout the whole year this year. So let's open this one up here. Up the camera there. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. So Kyle Felt, Victor Radley, Jai Arrow, uh, Adam Fenua Blake. We've got a season to remember. Josh Maguire, a first season to remember here. Obviously, with the Cowboys and round six, Maguire. Let's return this. Uh, Maguire ran for a game high 220 meters and top tackle count with 42 as he celebrated his 200th NRL match. So that is a season to remember and a game to remember for sure. Let's move that one to the side here. We've got Boyd Cordner as a platinum parallel here. Obviously, I'm going to get hyped for all the. New South Wales Blues um, players that I get. The Rabbitohs checklist. We got Tarek Sims, Kieran Foran, and Jesse Bromwich. So, so far, I don't think we've actually got a duplicate. Obviously, we have the uh, Marcus Sebo Platinum Parallel and the normal card, but um, other than that, no real... Um, Duplicate so far, which is great. Obviously, I'm going to get probably a couple here. And if I do end up getting quite a few um, duplicates, I might end up doing like a giveaway of some sort. So um, subscribe and keep tuned in each week to see what I do with that. Nathan Cleary, Trail Mitchell, obviously with the Rabbitohs, but when they printed these, he wasn't with the Rabbitohs yet. Got the Cowboys checklist. Got Shannon Boyd, which hopefully he has a good year this year for the Titans. We really need him to step up and uh, get back to his, obviously, um, representative ways of the Kangaroos. We got Moses Lo uh, Leota as our platinum parallel. We got Felice Kafusi. Is that our... Oh, we got Felice as a street. Oh, that's right. Uh, we got Cameron Murray, Roger Tuavata Sheck, Reed Mooney, and the Knights checklist. So I don't think we got a uh, special card in that, but I, from what I've seen, not every pack will have it. Um, you might not get it in some packs, so that's all right. That is all right with me. 
Let's open this one up. Ah, oh, bump the camera again. Got Andrew Fafita. Does this tell you how old they are on the back? No, it doesn't. It tells the date of birth, but not age. I think he'd be getting close to retirement soon, wouldn't he? We got Philip Semi. We got Payne Haas. Martin Tapel. And a season to remember, Andrew Fafita, 2019. And in the round 10 game, the two time Deli M uh, prop of the year celebrated another milestone when he played his 200th and our match. So another 200 match player, Josh Maguire and Andrew Fafita. So that is cool to get. Next card here is a Corey. Arawira Naira Platinum Parallel. Got Cody Nicarima, a Moto. No, it's a Lafai. Timo Tio Lafai? I'm sorry if I butchered that name. I'm going to hear it online on uh, the games and be like, oh, that's such an easy name to pronounce, but I just butchered it. But Brandon Smith actually went to school with him. Um, there's a couple of grades below him, but um, solid bloke he is. And then Junior Paulo. Brandon Smith is definitely going to be a um, future star for sure um, if he continues the way he's been going. Open this one up. And see what we've got in this pack here. We've got a Gabby Cooper. Darius Boyd, who'd renounced his retirement at the end of the year. Um, so it'd be last year for him. Got a Boyd Cordner normal, a Michael Cheekham, a Mitch Rain Magic Round um, card here. Very cool looking card. I like this card a lot. And let's flip it over. We've got his stats on the back there. So 73 meters, tackles 53, 0, 0.0 tries 80 minutes. Um, can't remember a lot from that magic round, um, but nonetheless, a cool card to pull. Our second magic round card. Got a Dean, uh, where? Aro? Um, Platinum Parallel, Liam Knight, Ken Mamalo, Daniel Sayafiti, a Cameron Smith to end the card, end the card, end the pack there see what this next pack brings me see if it brings so the 2019 season to remember is one per six pack so we're going to get a couple of those um magic round is one per nine packs we're going to get a couple more of those street arts one per 18 packs so we've actually done really well to pull two of these already um we probably won't see another one for that in a while um, the rep stars we haven't seen yet, so I wonder if this is going to pull a rep star this pack or not. It'd be cool if I can uh, call that right here. We've got Anthony Milford, Luke Brooks, a Ruben Garrick, Luke Keary. I reckon he's going to be in the New South Wales Blues side this year. And there we go, representative star Atorhu Harris for the Maori side. Very cool looking card. He's got um, second row, obviously, date of birth. Rep matches one, um, as it is a new um, one this year, I believe. And it was against the Indigenous All Stars in Melbourne uh, in the 15th of February last year. So I think they've had two now, because they obviously played this year as well. I had plenty of impact off the bench for the Maori side with a strong running game and powerful defense. A 49 of 54. Very cool card. Let's put that one there. Ah, uh, yeah, let's put that one there. Got a Rabbitohs checklist platinum parallel. Pretty upsetting there to pull that as your platinum parallel, but nonetheless, we did pull that. And yeah, let's keep that there for now. Cameron McInnes. Got a Thomas Burgess. Elliot Whitehead and uh, Lee Sun Armao. So, call that one saying the rep stars. 
And I'll call this one saying that I'm going to get a Star Tombs. Let's go for a Star Tombs, this, this pack here. The first Star Tombs of the video. Let's see what we can pull here. So, we've got a James Fisher Harris, a David Fafida, Daniel Tupu, Jordan McLean, and we've got a Necrotic representative star back to back. A Necrotic awesome card to be pulling here. Obviously, for the Australian Kangaroo side, he's got one rep game against the New Zealand. Um, side wing his date of birth he's actually the same age as me in 1998 um i'm a little bit older than him though and 2017 the rookie of the year celebrated his test debut with a um 26 to 4 win over the kiwis to cap off a stunning season in which he also debuted for the blues and play in the nrl grand final so that is and that's also rep stars three of 54 and that was 49 of 54. So that's an early rep star there. Very cool in indeed to pull that. Very happy with that. Rome Hughes, Platinum Parallel. We've got Bonte Ofoa, Alex Johnson, Josh Hodgson. What a good hooker he has been for the Raiders. And David Clemmer. Carry on here. I don't expect anything good in this pack now. Now that we've got two back-to-back -back representative stars. I don't expect anything good. It'd be cool to pull a New South Wales representative stars, but we have to wait. Wait and see what we can pull. We've got Josh LOA, Britton Nakora, Corey Oates, Josh Mansour. Yep, yeah, got nothing in this pack. Leeson Owmau as our Platinum Parallel, Mitchell Moses, Will Hopawate. We got a Damien Cook. What a good hooker he is as well. Jack Whiten and Connor Watson. So, yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys have pulled, if you guys have pulled any that is um, in this season. And um, what, yeah, what your, what your best pull is so far. And we've got Angus Crichton, a Thomas uh, McKaylee, a Jason Tomalolo, and Andrew Fafita. So we're starting to get a couple of the duplicates. We've got no, another representative star. This time it is from the Jillaroo side. Um, Tiana Penetani. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Very sorry. But that is a cool card to get. A women's uh, card there. Born in 1996, she plays in the wing. One rep match against the New Zealand uh, Jillaroos, not Jillaroos, uh, New Zealand side. Oh, mind blanked on their name, sorry about that. And the Dragons fly in New South Wales Blues already, let's go. Um, impressed on her Jillaroos debut, running for more than 70 metres and carrying the ball out strongly from her own half. Let's go. A very cool card indeed there. So, getting a nice little rep side there. Uh, I've got Jack Whiten as our Platinum Parallel. Clint Gutherson, Nick Meany, Clay Nicarima, and a, again, Tim Laffey. I think that's what they just call him, isn't it? Tim Laffey? And the, the T-O isn't pronounced normally. So I think it's just Tim Laffey. If I'm correct. Hopefully I am correct. Uh, I remember, oh, I haven't opened these in ages, but I remember why you, why I did. These are, these are great. These are great fun. Also, oh, bring back the Smith's ones. Smith's ones were awesome. You know, have have Smith's chips with um, watching the footy. Get a couple of cards. Oh, it's a great promo. Should definitely bring, bring that back. Jake Clifford. Got a Broncos checklist. Haven't had a checklist in a while. One over there. Uh, Moses uh, Leota. Corey Thompson, we've got another representative star. We are smashing that um, representative bunch of um, cards here. 
So we've got Jesse Ramian as an Indigenous All-Star here. And he was a centre one rep match against the Mary All-Stars in Melbourne. Uh, the game 15th of February last year. Set up a try of the match bursting into space from an Andrew Fafita offload. And kicking ahead for Bevan French to score. Rep star 43 of 54. It's a very cool card indeed to get. I've got a Mary and Indigenous All-Star now. Very cool to pull. We've got Joel Thompson as the Platinum Parallel Eels checklist. We've got a Nelson a Safoa Solomona, Edric Lee, and Dylan Napa. So, going to have plenty of cards here to try and make a team out of. And um, for the first round, definitely have a lot of cards to choose from to make my starting 13 and um, obviously four on the bench. I don't want to break these cards. There we go. So, what do we got here? We got a Joel Thompson yet again. We got a Nathan Peets, Chad Townsend, a Isaiah Yo, and as you probably saw, season to remember, Brett Morris. Let's go. So that a no, that's a um magic round Josh Morris and we got a Brett Morris season to remember there. Very cool indeed. So round twenty, Brett Morris, the flying winger, became just the twelfth player in history to score hundred and fifty NRL tries as he posted a hat trick in the win over the Titans. Game I'd rather forget, but nonetheless very happy for Brett Morris as he has been and was a great New South Wales player for us. And on the also on the back there they have um half a what you call it? A team pick. So do these also these also have a half team pick on it. So hopefully we can complete those as well. At least one of them. We got Dane Gagai, Platinum Parallel, Chance Nickel Clockstad, the person that no one knew how to pronounce at the start of the year. Obviously, everyone knows him now. Before you were here in Naira, <laughs> what it looks like passing a netball pass or like a medicine ball. A very uh, interesting um, picture taken there. James Graham and a Jez Tavanga also in that pack. I have to count how many packs there are at the end of this, and um, figure out how many is in a box. Because it looks like we're getting towards halfway there. Let's see what we can get in this pack here. Alex Twall, Aaron Woods, Jared Wallace, a John Asiata, and what I see here, a Dale Nukin representative star New South Wales Blues card. Let's go! That's what I wanted. I wanted a Blues representative star and Dale Finucane there. Obviously, getting his chance last year and smashed it. A lot of people said that he should have been in the uh, rep side a lot earlier. Finally, got his chance, which was good. Rep matches two. The debut, obviously, against Queensland. He can't debut against anyone else in State of Origin. Fanuka made his origin debut in Perth and starred in the two final matches as the Blues fought to win back-to-back -back series. He obviously was Locke and he's born in 1991. So very, very good card there. I'm very happy with that. Got a uh, Lucino Leilua, Platinum Parallel, Tim Glasby, Johnny Bateman, Gamal Matalini Zelezniak, and a Tyson Frizzell to finish that off. What I was thinking, what I was thinking of doing at the start of this, and I'll probably try this now, so I can open the pack properly, is surely you can have it. So you have the, um, the good cards at the end. So if we go um, one, two, three, four, pull them to the front, Obviously, you can't see what they are. 
but Cody Walker, a Warriors checklist, got Nathan Brown, Mitchell Pierce, let's go, a uh, Blake Braley, Owen Hess, a Roosters checklist, and Ash Taylor, hopefully he is in the right mindset this year and hopefully uh, fit to play. But a Viliami Kikau, Andrew Fafida, Platinum Parallel, finish it off. So nothing special in that pack, but we did end up with the Platinum Parallel at the end. I'll give it another go and see if we can get something good in this pack. Let's try to call it again. Let's say a Premiership Predictor in this in this pack. I really hope to get a Premiership Predictor in one of these packs in this box. Uh, really, really hoping to get it because. From what I'm aware of, if you like get it correct, um, obviously a lot of luck goes into it. You get a special card at the end of the year. So one, two, three, four. Bring it to the front. Got another Brandon Smith there. A Junior Paulo. A Tim Glasby. Johnny Bateman. Philip Sammy. Payne House. Martin DePau. We've got a Alex Twall. Special card is a Street Art Daniel Sasaya BT. Yeah, so there we go. We've got a cool card there. That's the second last card. Let's see what the. So, uh, he's played 85 games, born in 96. Uh, he's got a, his prop, and the nickname is DSAF. Uh, powerhouse prop. He made his NRL debut alongside his twin brother, Jacob Sasaya BT. made his. Uh, alongside his twin brother Jacob, he made his NRL, uh, New South Wales debut in 2019, helping the New South Wales Blues to victories in the second and third match to win the series. And what a good player he has been. So, another nicely textured card. I think you can even hear that. Let's bring that to the mic. ASMR. That's not picking that up, but. Cool, nonetheless, and then a Philip Sammy Platinum Parallel. Let me know if you guys want me to continue doing that. I'm going to continue doing that for the rest of the pack opening here, um, pulling the four cards from the back to the front, and then um, revealing those last three cards there. Obviously, the um, Platinum Parallel is a little bit upsetting to end on, I guess you could say, but um, still. Pretty cool thing to end on regardless. So Dallin Wittenden is the Lesniak. Tyson Frizzell. Got a Campbell Graham. Cameron Munster. Aaron Woods. Jared Wallace. John Asiata. Dean Fare. Season to remember Jake Turpin. So let's go. We're going back to the special cards here. In round 21, Turbin snatched a thrilling 18-14 to 14 win over the Cowboys with a stunning last-minute try. See there, nice reflection. And I'll take that card. And we've also got a uh, Tevita Pengai Jr. Yeah, that Platinum Parallel. Keep Open it away here. And I had a piece of rubbish on the desk. So let's open that up. I, I like this way. Um, obviously, you kind of know what you're going to get, but um, these, the four cards there aren't that important anyway. A Jared Croker, staple to my um, fantasy league. Obviously, as he's a good point scorer. Scores a bunch of tries, and just a pretty solid player, to be honest. I think he should have a crack in uh, Origin sometime, but obviously I'm not a selector, so I can't do that. But yeah. Aiden Tolman, a Storm Checklist, a Maratanukore. I don't pronounce the first name, but it's Nukore for the last name. I know that much. Matt Pryor, 
Moses Mbai, a Seagulls checklist, Joe Offeningawi, a Magic Round Jake Travojevic here. Let's go. Flip it over. Got stats for the uh, game 152 meters, 50 tackles, no points, no tries, 18 minutes. Magic Round 18 of 48. Very cool card indeed. Our third Magic Round card there. And <laughs> Marata Nuakore. That's how you pronounce it, Marata. Right there is the Platinum Parallel. Crack into this next one here. That one, I think, definitely shook the camera. That definitely did, because I bumped you. Let me down there. And so cracking into this next set of cards. First, uh, Matt Gillette there. I think that we've seen this pack. Uh, this pack. This opening, you know what I mean. Dylan Brown. Adam Reynolds. Nick Krotik. Raymond. Vitala Mariner. Matt Gillette. A. Tobiasi. Takiyaho. A Titans checklist. Josh Maguire. Adam Fanua Blake. With a Platinum Parallel. And a. Dern Matautia. Did I say something wrong there? But the Adam Fanua Blake is a Platinum Parallel for that. Got nothing special out of that one. But that's alright. You don't get everything. Every pack. Let's keep cracking along. And. To be honest, I'm pretty happy with what I've got so far. I don't think I can really be upset with what I've got so far. So let's again one, two, three, four. Definitely four there. We've got Blake Green, Josh Jackson, Corey Norman, a Ryan Sutton, Bailey Cherry Evans. Jimmy James Tedesco, Sean Johnson, Luke Gardner, Boyd Cordner. Let's go! Two New South Wales Blues representative stars. Obviously, as a blue support, I'm very happy with that. So let's flip you over. And you born in 92, the second row. Rep matches is 15. I debuted in 2013. And Boyd Cordner became the first New South Wales Blue skipper to lead the series to consecutive series wins since current assistant coach Danny Badiris achieved the feat in 0405. Obviously, been a very long time. We've won a couple of seasons in a row, series in a row, sorry. But very happy and very happy to pull Boyd Cordner, the captain. Great player, great card. And Luke Brooks as the platinum parallel. Let's keep cracking along here. So what's the other cards we can get? So I would assume somewhere in here we'll get a retirement, club heroes, free art, and yeah, those three because I think there's that many packs in a box. But we might have got our luck with all the other all of the other um, special cards we've pulled here. Uh, we'll find out at the end of this. Regardless, an Elliot Whitehead, Lisa and Armel, an Eels checklist, a Nelson a Sofa, Nelson, a Sofa Solomona, Ruben Garrick, Luke Keary, Jake Clifford, a Broncos checklist. Star Tunes, let's go! I was saying that we should probably get one soon, and we got one in Matt Pryor. Very happy with getting that as a um, Star Tunes card. Very happy indeed. Back of his um, of the player as well, which is very cool. And number four of eighteen, and. That's a very cool card indeed to get, I reckon. Very happy. 
very very happy with that and let's put that one down there that should be a pretty good spot and Victor Radley as the platinum parallel so as I was saying the um, so we've got Star Tunes a club heroes and retirements I would say is the next two that we should probably pull in this one maybe a bronze what do you call it a bronze uh, NRL authentics might get lucky with that but let's see regardless what we get Star Tunes is very happy with it regardless very very happy so one two three four a Ben Hunt, a Kurt Mann, a Josh Papali, Dale Finucan, Mo uh, Michael Morgan, Kevin Proctor, Benji Marshall, Darks Checklist, and we got a Club Hero Rookie of the Year card, Bradman Best. So, what is the rate of pulling that? Because I don't think that's that that high, is it? Um, the rookie of the year card. That's not on the back there. That's not a club. He oh, there's a club hero. Sorry. So there we go. We pulled a club hero card. Now it's just retirements to pull. After that, a so rookie of the year, Bradman Best. Oh, I actually had him in my um, fantasy league. Until I found out that he was injured for a couple of games. So I have to train back in when he gets back in fit. Games 3, 272 metres, 4 points, 35 tackles. A future star, Best made his NRL debut in round 23 and scored his first NRL try following the, uh, the following round as he also celebrated his first victory with a 38-4 to win over the Titans. And what's up with all these stats against the Titans? That's not good. Um, but nonetheless, that's a very cool card to pull. Club Hero, very happy with that. Put that one down here. Another Trail Mitchell Platinum Parallel. Obviously, again, with the, uh, with the Rabbits now, not the Roosters, but still cool nonetheless. And back-to-back -back Roosters cards there. So... Can we get the retirement card in this one and complete the one per box type um, set? Or will it be a little bit further down? Let's have to find out. One, two, three, four. We've got a Paul Vaughan. We've got a Peter Hiku. Gotta settle my common cards down here. They're getting a little bit out of hand. There we go. A Peter Hiku, a Dane Gagai, a Josh Addo Carr, Moses Suli, Andrew McCulloch, James Tarmow, Alexander Brimson, Nelson, a Safoa, Salamona, and a Bulldogs checklist. So a Platinum Parallel and Checklist. So yet again, nothing special in that pack, but that's all right. We've got a couple of good ones in a row. Can't complain. So what is the season to remember? Is one per six. So we have a good chance of actually pulling another one of either Cowboys, Sharks, Roosters, or Broncos to complete the back of that card as well, which would be pretty cool um, to do, I reckon. On this pack is hard to open. There we go. Made me work for that, and I bumped the camera again. That definitely wobbled, but I settled down very quickly. So that's one, two, three, four. So Jerome Hughes, Blake Ferguson, first time seeing him. Liam Knight, Ken Mamalo, Tyrone Roberts, Dylan Edwards, uh, Curtis Surinan. Gabby Cooper, Moses M. By representative stars for the Queensland Maroons. Happy nonetheless. It's got representative stars. And Moses M. By as the player 
Ford in 93. He's a center utility. Three rep matches. Uh, debuted in 2019. Made his origin debut in 2019 series. Come off the bench in the first two matches and starting the center in the decider. So, that's an alright card. Happy to pull it nonetheless. And yeah, Dylan Napa, Platinum Parallel. Just has to keep opening going along. Looking at the um, box here, and looking at that Petro 7 Aceiva, 7 cents a litre, Petrol 7 cents a litre, whatever you want to call him, how awesome would it be to pull that? But you have to be patient. You might get it sometime throughout the year, throughout the rounds. So we've got Dragon's Checklist, Felice Kafusi, Cameron Murray. Roger Torvas Shek, Wade Graham, Tom Tavoyevich, Nathan Cleary, Latrell Mitchell, Jesse Bromwich, Maori representative star right there. Flip it over. Born in 89, position prop, one rep match. Uh, again, debuted, same as all the other Maoris, um, because I'm pretty sure they only started the Maori. Indigenous All Stars Games 2019. So the Kiwi International and Storm Star led the white front for the Maori side with a powerful running game and impressive defense. 47 of 54. Very cool card indeed to get there. And a Sean Johnson as the Platinum Parallel. Getting down to the final couple packs here. Let's see what other special cards we can pull this is exciting very exciting obviously this is a very long video so look you guys have stuck around to watch it all as i said at the end there is a um, little announcement of a challenge i'm planning on doing so please stick around to that daniel Fidi, camera smith chance nook clock stad ori arawira naira darius boyd Boyd Cordner, Michael Cheekham, Joel Thompson, and Nathan Peets. A Ben Hunt, so nothing in this pack special, and as that was the Platinum Parallel, it was rather thick, you know, but that's cool. That's just because this pack here has something cool in it. Something very cool indeed. So let's see what we can do. And if it's one per six, I might might buy six um, boxes throughout the year. One, two, three, four. Start off here with a Raiders checklist, a Uchino Lelua, a Zaya Papali. Get the commons up again because they are it's again getting out of hand. A Mike Acevo, a West Tigers checklist, Bronson Cherry, Joseph Manu, a Jake Tavoyevich, and as you probably saw, a season to remember, Benji Marshall. In the round 17 game, a Premiership World Cup and Golden Boot winner, Marshall added the prestigious 300 club to his resume. Very cool indeed. And then the last card is a Blake Green Platinum Parallel. This one here goes to. That's a very pretty cool there. Season two. Wait, so is there three? Is there three season two remembers to get to complete the? There must be. Let me grab checklist real quick. If you go to. Season to remember, they do too. There's three cards per um, team, which I didn't know about. So, yeah, we've got a left, a right, and a middle, obviously, um, that you have to collect. So, very interesting to see what uh, team I pull first as the um, full. Full, full set. Be very cool indeed. So, 
One, two, three, four. Campbell Graham, Cameron Munster, Blake Green, Josh Jackson, Dean Barre, Daly Cherry Evans, James Tedesco, Sean Johnson, Elise Carfusi as the representative star for the Queensland Maroons. Uh, born in 92, second rower, six rep matches. Uh, debuted in 2018 in the hard working back row, played every minute of the 2019 series and scored his first try for the Queensland Maroons in the decider. Unfortunately for him and the Queenslanders, it wasn't enough to beat the almighty Blues. Getting a very realistically lucky last try there. And Cohen has as the platinum parallel. Let's open this next one up. So what I say, the only one to get now is a retirement, a retirement card. So it'll be interesting to see what retirements we pull if we do in this box. And got one, two, three, four. James Graham at Jazz Tavanga. The only Mattel Dylan Brown, Matt Townsend, Isaiah Yo, Matt Gillette, Tibiasi Tiva Tibihaho. I'm sorry, I butchered that in a magic round. Anthony Melford as our specialty card. 2019 stats. The first one with a couple of extra stats on here. 68 meters, 10 tackles, four points, one try. 80 minutes magic round number two that is cool to get as well is that our no i was gonna say is that our second um bronco but it's not yeah and then a john asiana as the platinum parallel for that card and again back to back cowboys platinum parallels let's open up this next pack as you can see, they have Kieran Foran as the fourth one there. One, two, three, four. Kalen Ponga, Rabbitohs checklist, Eric Sims, Kieran Foran, A, 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 Settle, Tavita Pengai Jr., a Panthers checklist. A Kyle Felt, a Victor Radley, and a Cameron Munster representative stars kangaroos team. Go. Very cool. And then we got a platinum parallel Raiders as well. Let's just put that on there. So born in 94, he's a 5'8, three rep matches, debut against France in 2017. Munster's magical skills ignite the kangaroos attack. A dangerous ball runner. Munster is a uh, instinctive talent who can produce a moment of brilliance when it's needed most. Rep star 7 or 54. Collecting the kangaroos rep stars very happily right there. And we are down to the last six packs. What can we get out of these ones here? Put them there. Continue to open these up here. If you guys have enjoyed, leave that like rating. Like I said, I'm going to be announcing a challenge I'm going to be doing and then my first um, 13 and um, bench I'm going to be doing every week, creating a side. Uh, but after this week, I'm only going to be opening three packs and it would be a little bit more difficult to create a team out of, but a little bit more fun and challenging. So one, two, three, four. Got a Reed Moody. A Knight's Checklist, Cameron McInnes, a Thomas Burgess, a Cowboys Checklist, a Shannon Boyd, Anthony Milford, Luke Brooks, Cody Walker, Indigenous All-Stars, a representative st star, uh, born in the 90s, 5'8", one uh, rep match, and 
he celebrated a 34 to 14 win with a try and oh, sorry, a try as he joined the likes of Preston Campbell, Greg Inglis, and Sean Thurston in captaining the side there. So, cool card to pull there. And a Nathan Brown is a platinum parallel. Only five packs left. And to the final five here. The final countdown. So let's put this up to a Jai arrow. But we've got to pull the first, the last four, sorry. So Jesse Bromwich, so Bonte Ofoa, and Alex Johnson, Josh Hodgson, Jai Arrow, Adam from Noah Blake, James Fisher, Fisher Harris, David Fafida, Daniel Tupu, Nathan Peets Platinum Parallel, which means we didn't get anything special in that pack, unfortunately, but we've power on. We power on here, down to the final four. Really, really would love to get a Premiership Predictor. Don't care which one it is. Which is awesome to get. And a retirement. We are due a retirement in this, I believe. So, if we can get it, David Clemmer, Mitchell Moses, Will Hopawate, Damian Cook, Jordan McLean, Josh Aloe, Brenton Nakora, Corey Oates, a representative all star, Kira Dib, a Jill Ruse star there. And she was born in 97. She's a 5 8 one rep match against the New Zealand Mary women's team. Dib starred in her international debut as she displayed her superb kicking game, including a spectacular kick from the ace from that produced a try for Jessica Burgess. Burgess, I believe that is. Very cool. That's our second female uh, representative star. And then Andrew McCulloch. So. With three left to go, can we continue the cool cards here? Get a couple more cool ones and end with an absolute banger. Let's find out. So you got one, two, three. Josh Apali, Dale Bernoven, a Bulldogs checklist, a Paul Vaughan, a Benji Marshall. Got a Sharks checklist. A Moses Sully. Andrew McCulloch. And a Star Tunes Tommy Trovoyevich. Let's go. And a Ruben Garrick. Um, Platinum Parallel. But a Tommy Trovoyevich Star Toon. Yes, let's go. Oh, that is so cool. Number 7 of 18. Got two Star Tunes now. Matt Pryor. And. Tommy Trovoyevich. Look at it. Look at it. That is awesome. Very cool. Indeed. Let's keep going though. Not finished. We've got two left. Penultimate pack here. See what we can get. So one, two, three, four. We've got Corey Norman. Ryan Simon. Jerome Hughes, Blake Ferguson, Luke Garner, Tyrone Roberts, a Dylan Edwards, Curtis Surinan, and a authentic series signature card. Let's bloody go from Payne Pass. Now, I'll be honest, I think he is a good player. I think he's just Flooded too early into Origin. I think give him a few more years. Let him kind of settle a little bit. I think he can be a very good uh, New South Wales player. But uh, at the moment, I think he just needs to get a couple more games under his belt. A little more experience. Um, but very cool to get indeed nonetheless. It does have a little bit of marks on the card. But that is bloody awesome to get. And Authentics, obviously right there. Um, got a the signature on this card is authentic and guaranteed by the NRL. Payne Haas first grade debut was round eight, two thousand eighteen against the Rabbitohs, playing for the Broncos, and a little bit of the um, limited to a hundred, and I got number six of a hundred. That is bloody awesome. And the 
uh, number one of 16 as well. So the Woodbury Warriors Jr. is the most exciting young forward in NRL. Already a New South Wales representative, has recorded 102 tackle breaks, achieved a tackle efficiency of 92.2%, composed of 300, uh, sorry, 3,888 running metres in 2019. He has also produced a contender of a try with his superb solo burst against the Panthers in, 2000, uh, sorry, in round 22. Like I said, he is a good player. I don't, I'm not saying he's not a good player. I think he's just blooded too early into um, New South Wales Blues. And in the future, he'll be a great player. But also, from what I'm aware of, he's also only like 18 or 19. So, yeah, he's got a long, long time, uh, long season and long uh, career, which is what I'm trying to say, ahead of him. So let's place that one there. And that is very cool to get. And Tim Glasby, it's a wild card. So, am I asking for too much to get something really cool in this pack? I think I am. So... I'm just going to open it, expect nothing, and if I get something, that will be just great. But um, let's take a quick look at the authentic signatures is 16, 100 per, per player. So that's just random, and I got one. So that's awesome. Still obviously a chance to get the other stuff as well. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. There's something to shine in there, so... I'm really hoping here. Adam Reynolds, Nick Krotik, uh, Raymond Fanala, Raymond Fatala Mariner, Dragons checklist, Titans checklist, Josh Maguire, Wade Graham, Tom Travojevic, a season to remember, Jared Bloody Croker. Let's go. So in round 21, Croker became the just the second player in Raiders history to play 250 games for the club. Let's go. I'm happy to end on that one. And obviously, the middle there of the Raiders. What a bloody way to end that. Like I said, I really highly rate, um, rate Jared Croker. And then a Kalen Ponga Putnam Parallel to end it off. And a back-to-back -back Knights yet again. So that's what I've pulled. Now let's try to make a team out of what I pulled. And um, I'll see you guys once I've made the team. All right, so that is my team setup for round one of the Telstra Premiership. I have to block the sun, uh, the sun, the fire out there, otherwise it's a big glare. So I've got Damien Cook, Kane Haas, Paul Vaughan at the front, Paul Hu Harris, Cameron Murray, and Boyd Cordner in the back row. A Benji Marshall, Luke Keary combination in the center, and a um, half, sorry. Campbell Graham, Jared Croker, Clint Gutherson, Tim Lafayette, Edric Lee on the wing, and to fill out the back five, I should say. And on the bench, we've got Daniel Saifidi, Kurt Mann, Shannon Boyd, and John Assi Arta. And as you'll be able to see on screen, also, they all fit into a Fantasy League, that's what I'm going to try and do every round. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit easier with um, only a set amount of players given to me with only three packs. But that is what I was able to do with the entire uh, setup. Obviously, those other players I wanted to pick, but um, for constraints of a make believe salary cap, uh, this is the best team I could throw together. I still think it's going to be a good team, and um, next week I'll give like a little update of what that team was able to do but um let's just jump quickly into what the challenge will be this year and why this is also kind of a part of that all right so if you guys follow me on twitter you'll already know about this however this year i've decided to do a challenge every round of the telstra premiership i'll be watching every game and then once a home or away team scores a point so a try or conversion, field goal, penalty goal, whatever the case is, every point the home team scores, I'll be doing push-ups equivalent to the amount of points they score, and I'll be doing setups for the away team. So if the home team scores a try, I'll be doing four push-ups, and if they do a conversion, a successful conversion, I'll do another two on top of that. And there's not a cumulative, so if they score 32 points in the game, 
And then they scored another try. I'm not going to do 36 push-ups in one hit. It's just four push-ups. And then two if they convert or one if they do a field goal, penalty goals, all that type of stuff. Vice versa with the sit-ups. And each week I'll be um, try, like putting awareness towards a specific um, disease that I think needs a little bit more recognition or just has... Um, this I think I need yeah, want to give recognition to pretty much. Um, obviously, throughout the year, they also do they the NRL do beanie rounds for brain cancer and all that type of stuff. So that will also be uh, included in these videos. So I'll raise like somewhat awareness towards that. But with the team, I also did put to you. I can't really decide yet what I'm going to do. Whether it's going to be a minute plank or a hundred meter run. If they score a try, I think what I might do is I might do the running 100 meters and I'll do that at the end of the round. So on the Monday, I'll go for a run and run however long I need to, considering uh, considering um, all dependent on how well my team does. That's why I showed you the team and then each week uh, I'll be updating you guys. Hopefully, we'll be raising awareness uh, for good charities and good causes. I'll get a little bit more fit and a little bit more defined in areas I want and need to um, define. And it's a little bit of fun. I'll get to open some packs, get to post it to you guys on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoy it as well. And hopefully, some of you guys get involved along with it. So, the next video will be my results of the week, league, along with um, what punishments I guess you can say I had to do and then um, be another pack opening type um, later in the week or something like that. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do but hopefully you guys did enjoy this one nonetheless. If you did hit that like rating and comment down below any suggestions uh, for this challenge, anything you want me to raise awareness for, let me know and subscribe to keep up to date and I'll see you guys next one. Peace.